around daily to pick up your donated items each morning from home rooms. Students will get chances to earn this, a sweet treat for their donations. Also, the class that collects the most items will receive a popcorn. This, we will begin this service project, January 30th, and February 14th, 2018. We look forward for this to be a successful effort. And thank you so much for young ladies from the Coles organization and the other young ladies that are participating. We appreciate you guys and commend you on that great service project that you're doing, always reaching out and seeing how you can be that excellent citizen and giving for others. And last thing we want to say for our lunch menu today, teriyaki chicken, stir fried vegetables, fried rice, and assorted meat that is on your lunch menu. And now all day, have a great day. Um, just leave it on and I'm going to come over and put up the video for the verbs that we'll be using today. Um, so if you'll be patient and just go on and finish what you need to finish as much as you can. Raise your hand if you started talking as soon as he went off because you were not supposed to. You're, as soon as he goes off, some of you continue to write and I hope that you can hear and understand every word even though you're writing. But once the principal goes off, you know you have plenty of work to get done. Until I come over and tell you, now we're going to look at this video about verbs, you still have a chance to go on and finish everything you need to do with the heading this morning. Now, you notice that I changed the skill for today. So that means if you don't have this written down already, you need to write it down. Today is Wednesday, January 31st, 2018. This is the 104th, that's one of your numbers of the day. And we have 76, that's the number of the day. 31 is the number of the day. Those three numbers you should have written down already. There's no excuse for those of you who sit here all morning long and then when I call you to the table with me and you say to me, oh no, I didn't have time to get anything done. Please don't do that. Kaysen, Jacorius, Denasia, Jakai, Taylor, Jalon, Jaquan, Kasmin, Jayana, Asia, Kelton, Amari, Jaden, Brennan, Timothy, Acacia, Kirsten, DeQuincy.
So we have um, at least two videos explaining the verb be. Hey, Block and fire your 1040 EZ for free. What? You know that's not your line, right? We know that it's. Oh! In this video, we're going to learn about the verb to be. The verb to be is the most important verb. That's why it should be the first thing you learn about when you start learning English. It also has many uses and it's very irregular. So, you'll see it in many forms. It can be used as a main verb, but it is also used as an auxiliary verb to form other tenses. So, it's very important to understand when we use the different forms. So, let's start by looking at the forms of the verb to be in the present tense. When you talk about yourself, you use the first person. So you say, I. We call this the subject pronoun. And the correct form of the verb to be in the first person is am. So you say, I am. I need you to get up and get in your seat. When you're talking about the person you're talking to, you use the second person. The subject pronoun for the second person is you, and the correct form of the verb. And I need you to look are. at these simple words. So you say, all the time. you are. When you're talking about another person or a thing, you use the third person. The subject pronoun for the third person is he, if it's a man, she, if it's a woman, yeah. or it, if it's, if it's a thing. And the correct form of the verb is it. So you say, he is, she is, or it is. When you're talking about a group of people that includes yourself, you use the first person plural. The subject pronoun for the first person plural is we, and the correct form of the verb to be is are. So you say, we are. In fact, whenever you talk about more than one person or thing, the form of the verb is are. The second person plural is when you talk about a group of people that does not include yourself. Then, you use the subject pronoun, you. So it's the same as the second person singular. So you say, you are. The third person plural is when you talk about a group of people or things that does not include you or any of the people you're talking to. Then, you use the subject pronoun, they. So you say, they are. So let's look at some of the ways we use the verb to be and some examples. One of the ways we use the verb to be is to describe a role or a relationship. Listen to and repeat these examples. I am your friend. I am your friend. You are my brother. You are my brother. It is a banana. It is a banana. We are a class. We are a class. Another way we use the verb to be is to describe the location of something. Listen to and repeat these examples. I am at home. I am at home. You are on holiday. You are on holiday. You are on holiday. You are on holiday. She is on television. She is on television. 
She is on television. She is on television. They are in the classroom. 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 We also use the verb to be when we describe something with an adjective. Listen to and repeat these examples. I am happy. 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 You are tall. You are tall. You are tall. You are tall. She is lovely. She is lovely. She is lovely. She is lovely. They are late. They are late. They are late. They are late. Or we can use the verb to be to compare. Are we this doing that right now? Are we doing this? We're doing this. Listen to and repeat these examples. I am shorter than my brother. 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 You are quicker than the others. You are quicker than the others. May we make an announcement? Yes, you may. Do anybody got any donation for the pick up pump? We don't we don't have any right now. Not today, okay? Okay. Thank you. You are quicker than the others. You are quicker than the others. Belen is the most beautiful. 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 Stop, you are the Stop best writing class. and pay attention to what's going on here. You are the best class. You are the best class. We will look at comparatives and superlatives in more detail in a future video. And last week, didn't we do this? We said something that's quicker or the quickest. We did these all last week. When you compare, you're going to say one is quicker than the other, but when you say, when you do the superlative, you say, well, this one is the best of all. So you heard this last week. So now we're focusing on learning different forms of to be in the present simple tense. Again, we'll look more at this later, but to be is also used to make a continuous tense. Listen to and repeat these examples. You children sit up. Everybody sit up. You're not going to be here that long. Sit up. I am working in my office. Sit up. Everybody sit up. You are running in the park. 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 Sit up. She is helping her friend. 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 They are going to France. 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 The verb to be is used a lot, so we use contractions to make things easier and quicker to say. Okay, so now I need you to look at the uh, right, I am, you are. Right, he is, she is, it is. Right, we are, you are, they are. Next to that, go on and put the contraction, put your thumb up, you have it done. Put the crayons on the table, please. Yeah, ma'am. You have it done. Okay, what's the first one? I. Okay, did you write I am? And you wrote what's next to it? I. What's the next one? You. Okay, you wrote you are. And you wrote, you wrote your next to it. What's the next one? E. Uh, spell it. H. E apostrophe S. What about she? It. She. Okay, spell it. S H E apostrophe S. What's the next one? It is. It is. It's. 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 Okay, spell it. I T apostrophe S. So, Jakai, you want to take the next one? Okay, take it. E R. And spell it. W E R. 